Yes. Now, part three. Sect of the tibia. Now, discuss about the sect of the tibia. If you cut a section, transverse section at this level, you will find tibia is triangular in shape. It has three borders. This is anterior border. Anterior border. This border extends from tibial tuberosity. This is tibial tuberosity here. So it ex extends from tibial tuberosity to anterior border of medial malleolus. So this is medial malleolus. So from here to here. This is anterior border. This is anterior border. Here is medial border. This border is medial border. It extends from medial condyle medial condyle of the tibia to posterior border of medial malleolus. So this is medial border and lateral border it extends from this is lateral border this lateral border is also an right, interosseous border this is lateral border also an right, interosseous border Because interosseous membrane is attached to this border. Interosseous membrane is attached. Here fibula lies and it attached with the fibula. So this border is interosseous border. It extends from lateral condyle to this is fibular notch. Here is fibular notch. Fibular notch, uh, anterior border of the fibular notch. This is anterior border of the fibular notch. So it, it extends from here to here. This is lateral or interosseous border. Here, interosseous membrane is attached. So it gives attachment to interosseous membrane. And another thing, in lower part, here, in triangular area, just above the fibular notch, this is inferior. Here, inferior tibio fibular ligament is attached. Inferior tibio fibular ligament is attached. And also, here is capsular ligament attached. Here, around the fibular notch. And one thing, anterior and posterior. Here lies anterior and posterior tibio fibular ligament. Anterior and posterior tibio fibular ligaments are also present here. So in the lateral border there is from here to here interosseous membrane. This is interosseous membrane. And in lower part, inferior tibio fibular ligament is attached. And here is anterior margin of this fibular notch. So here anterior tibio fibular ligament is present. And capsular ligament. So these structures are attached on the lateral or interosseous border. Now we will discuss about the surfaces. Here is between anterior and lateral border. This surface is from here to here, from here to here. This surface is 
lateral surface this is lateral surface and this is medial surface from here to medial border to anterior border this is medial surface and this is posterior surface between intros introsius and medial border this is posterior surface so this lateral surface this let this is lateral surface here in upper two third part of the lateral surface here tbl is anterior muscle takes origin tbl is anterior muscle takes origin from this upper two third part tbl is anterior muscle and next surface is medial surface this medial surface is almost subcutaneous this surface is subcutaneous now posterior surface posterior surface posterior surface here is a ridge this is a ridge extend from facet for fibula to junction of upper one third and middle one third here this line this is known as soleal line this soleal line gives attachment to soleus muscle here soleus muscle takes origin it extend up to here so this muscle is soleus muscle which takes origin from here this muscle is soleus muscle above this soleal line there is triangular area this triangular area here this popliteus muscle is attached here popliteus muscle is attached popliteus muscle is inserted here and the lower part below the soleal line a vertical line a vertical ridge which divides into medial lat into uh, it, into medial and lateral part this part is medial part this is part is lateral part so medial and lateral part and near the upper end here the foramen is present this is known as nutrient foramen direction of the foramen is downward and structure passes through this foramen is branch of nutrient branch of posterior tbl artery posterior tbl artery so this is nutrient branch of posterior tbl artery passes through goes downward and remember this is largest nutrient artery in the body this is largest nutrient artery in the body this nutrient branch of the posterior tibial artery is the largest nutrient artery in the body so here and then structure medial to this one muscle is attached that is this is flexor digitorum longus this is flexor digitorum longus and here on the lateral side this part here tbl is posterior Here tibial is posterior muscle takes origin. So on posterior side, this muscle, this is popliteus, which is inserted, and so soleus muscle, this flexor digitorum longus, and tibial is posterior 
it is take it, this message takes origin from here and one thing uh, this is posterior surface in medial uh, medial surface this medial surface in upper part of the medial surface three muscles are inserted here This is sartorius, sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus. Three muscles are inserted here. This is sartorius. Next is gracilis, and next is semitendinosus. Semitendinosus. So this part is medial surface is. Mostly subcutaneous in upper part near the medial uh, condyle. The three muscles are inserted sartorius from anterior to posterior, sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus. So, this is all about the borders and surfaces of the shaft of the tibia. Thank you.